Hi guys, this is Ranish Malan from Pix Compose. Today we are going to talk about the changes happened in the Adobe Photoshop. Here you can see that the first change is the icon is changed for the Adobe Creative Cloud. So this one is the very colorful icon and I like it very much. If I open it, here you can notice that all the icons for the apps are changed now. Here you can see that Photoshop icon, LR icon and LRC icon, bridge icon every icon is changed now so if i click on the open we will notice the next change here you can see the change in the splash screen now the image is framed here on the right and on the left you can notice all the information let's move on to the next change here you can notice that if i open this file so let's assume that the client provided you an image in which you have to type in something so firstly we need to match the font if we go to the internet to match the font we have to search over the internet for very long time so what is the easiest method and the quickest method to do this that one is the match font feature match font feature is provided earlier in the photoshop but now it is very improved in this version to use that i have to select the layer from which i want to detect the font so now i will go to the type menu and here you can notice that the match font feature i can click over there and now you can notice the bounding box which i have to adjust around the text of which i want to detect the font so now i can adjust the boundaries of this bounding box very well on the left side sorry on the right side you can see that you can notice that it is searching for the fonts you can see that adobe provided some similar font options i can select any one of them so these three are already downloaded in my photoshop so if i want to download something some font i have to click on this only single click you can see that the font is activating so now we have four fonts i can click on ok and now we have the font to type in here i can click here and now if i click you can see that we have a dummy text we have to increase the font size like this now from here we have to select the font which we want to use so we want to use the adobe font so i have to click here to filter with the adobe fonts so now we only have the adobe fonts so right now i want to use the volina which i have downloaded earlier so i want to select this one now i have to reduce the size like this now here you can notice that the effect is not similar now we have to create the effect so let's see how we can do that so i will click here now i want to add the bar like this one is the bar so i can do that like this you can see that we have the bar text here now here we can see that on the bottom this option is on that's why we are getting the capitals so i have to turn this off now we have a regular font so i can increase the font size from here now we have to make it resemble with the original font for that i will double click here so firstly i notice that the color of this text is yellow so for that i will go to the color overlay you can notice that the color is already set up here if you want to set this color click here and now pick the color from here like this now click ok so now the next thing i notice that we have the inner glow i can click here to add the inner glow of red color now i will go to the drop shadow option you can notice that we have the drop shadow here so if i go to the drop shadow now i can adjust it like this so the next thing that i am noticing that we need a outer glow so i can add that from here you can notice that i have already ad adjusted that to the red color and now we have a very similar look so i can increase it we can change the text easily like this so you can see that this one is very good feature so let's move to the next feature the next one is also related to the font so earlier maybe you have noticed that whenever you open a template in the photoshop if the font is missing from the adobe photoshop it always gives you a warning so now it is not the case if the adobe fonts have the font it automatically syncs the font to the photoshop so let's see how we can do that firstly we have to open a template 
So I have downloaded this template from the freepick.com. I will give you the link to that site. You can download as many templates from there for free. Majority of stuff on this site is free. So you can download as many of them. So if I click here, you can notice that this template is full of text and we are not getting any warning from the Adobe because the fonts are already synced in the Photoshop. So how we can see that? If I go to the text folder, here you can notice that we can select any text here and here we can notice that we have a font, this font, which was not in the Photoshop. Now you can see that we have filtered it with the Adobe fonts and now in the Adobe fonts we have the this font. So that's why I can tell you that this font is downloaded and automatically synced in the Photoshop. So that one is very good feature and very cool feature for me. So let's move to the next feature which one is the select subject. Select subject is very improved in this version of the Photoshop. Earlier when we use the select subject option in the Photoshop, we doesn't get the proper selection for the hairs. But now the hair selection is very improved here, improved in the Photoshop. So you can notice that we don't have any options. If I unlock this layer we will get the options here you can see that we have quick actions first one is remove background and second one is select subject the second one will not only select the subject but also create a layer mask to hide the background so let's use it you can notice that we have a very good result and here we have a layer mask now we have to refine this layer mask for that i will go to the select and mask so firstly if i select this one here you can notice that we have a select and mask so firstly i notice that her shoulder is not properly selected so we have to paint over here i will select the brush tool so i will paint over here to make the selection proper so now we have a very proper selection here so let's move further so here we can notice that we have the background so we have to deselect that one for that I will go here and now you will notice the change previously when we start selecting with the quick selection tool like this you can notice that the reflection of that color will also be selected so now I will go to the subtract mode here now you can notice that the minus sign in the circle so if I click here you can see that it is calculating and removing only the background so I can reduce the size of the brush for this portion if I click here now I can reduce it more like this you can notice that we are getting a very good selection like this so here you can notice that we have some chunks of the background how we can remove those so i am going to select this lasso tool we have to select the subtract mode now when i click here and start making the selection so we can use it here so we have this area You can see that we have refined this one too. So now let's move further on the top here. You can notice that the leaf is not selected properly. So we have to paint over here like this. Now we have to paint over here. Right. So let's press the control zero. Now the next thing is we have to smooth the selection so that we can get the smoother edges here now i will use the feather little bit feather not too much we will increase the contrast this is increasing the contrast of the mask now we can shift the edges little bit so now if you notice some background colors on the edges so how you can deal with that we can use the decontaminate color so after that we will refine the hairs but right now i am going to commit this change because i don't want to affect the hairs with this setting so now i am going to click on ok so now we are going to refine the hairs here so for that i will click on the select and mask here you can notice that we have a very good result so we can use the edge refinement tool so you can use it like this if you want now i can click on ok and i can also shift the edge little bit i will change the output mode to the layer mask so now i will click ok i'm going to add a background here so i can drag it down i'm going to add a pattern because the next change happened in the patterns which one is very good 
so i am going to double click here to open the layer styles here you can see that the pattern overlay here you can notice that we have the pattern and here we have a new option which one is angle we can change the angle of this pattern which we can't do in the earlier versions like this so this one is very good option here i like it very well so now we can click on ok so we have this pattern over here so now let's see the second method to get this option for that i will go to the adjustment layers here you can see that we have the pattern adjustment layer i can click over here now i can select the pattern which i want to use here like the water or you can see that say that the grass we can use the grass now we can change the angle of the grass if we want you can notice that very well so now i can click on ok so the next change happened in the photoshop is with the camera raw we will go to the camera raw for that i will go to the filter menu and here you can see that the camera raw so i can click here so here you can see that we have this image now the interface of the camera raw is totally changed and also a new option is added here regarding to the iso now you can adjust the iso as you do in the camera basically all the tools are shifted in the previous versions you can notice some tools over here all the tools are shifted in these tabs which are very effectively placed over here and all the tools present on the left side are shifted to the right side here you can notice all the tools over here they try to match the look of the camera row with the lightroom so that you can easily use it all the geometrical tools to adjust the geometry of the image are placed in the geometry tab you can on and off these tabs by clicking over here like i am going to adjust some color noise over here you can see that we have a eye icon I can click over here to remove the changes from here. So now the camera row is looking very good and sophisticated to use. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel and do press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.